Welcome to a Let It Snow DIY album tutorial. I'm Shari Philomahala here at the Graphic 45 office and today I'm going to teach you how to create your very own album using our Graphic 45 tags and some gorgeous papers to create a, your own hinge system. So let's open up this album to show you how fun and simple these albums are to create. Of course, we're using our Let It Snow paper collection, but this would look gorgeous uh, using any Graphic 45 papers that you've got at home in your stash. So if you look on the side here, you can see where we've created our own hinge. And then we're taking some of our Graphic 45 craft regular tags to create pages. So you can see there's lots of great space for your photos and even some space to um, for the embellishments that you're gonna get in this Club G45 kit. We love these interactive elements, places for journaling, and even some fun little tags where you can add in more uh, mementos, keepsakes. You can see we're also gonna teach you some great ways on how to layer our new uh, flower assortments and do a little bit of fussy cutting as well. So this album has created, been created this month for us by the fabulous Annette Green. And she really teaches us a lot of fun techniques in this simple tutorial. Of course, this album goes along with our Club G45 Volume 11 for 2021. You're also gonna be getting another tutorial on how to create this uh, book box or decorate the box rather. So you'll see that the album fits perfectly inside the box and this box, uh, you can find the tutorial for that in the description below as well. Now to pick up your kit, you can do that by heading over to graphic45papers.com or down to your local G45 retailer. You can become a subscriber and get a fabulous kit like this sent directly to you in the mail every month, or you can just pick up the kit. Uh, they do tend to send out sell out quickly so you might want to hop on over there sooner than later and your kit this month you're going to be getting the let it snow collection pack you get uh, 16 double-sided sheets uh, 12 by 12 you're going to be getting two cardstock sticker sheets that are six by 12 and a half you get this um, nice and easy to follow project sheet as well as our craft book box the Graphic 45 regular craft tags, uh, the Let It Snow journaling cards. You get 32 pieces in there in two different sizes, uh, the 4x6 and 3x4s. And then our brand new uh, flower assortments in shades of blue. So we have a lot of fun goodies to work with this month. If you just want to create this tag album along with us, you can uh, just pick up some tags or some uh, papers that are according to the size and create along with us. So go ahead, grab those supplies, and let's start crafting. So the first thing you're going to want to do is grab your project sheet. It's going to come included in your kit. Um, of course, if you're just following along with your own supplies, you can always find that on our website, g45papers.com. If you go up to the top right, there is an inspiration tab. Click on that, go down to project sheets, and that's where you'll find this great step-by-step -step project sheet. The project sheet's great for, it has all the measurements, which of course I'm gonna tell you in this video, but it also uh, gives you some notes, tells you the whole supply list, including tools and things like that. So it can always be helpful um, if you're going at your own pace as well. So uh, you'll see um, on the project sheet, it notes that Annette, when she did her sample, inked her uh, paper edges in a medium brown ink, which looks beautiful. But for the sake of uh, being quicker with time, I will not be inking my edges. So you can kind of see, compare and contrast uh, which one you like more uh, inked or if you like it more simple. Step one, we are going to be creating our hinge system with this piece of paper. So we've taken our So Very Merry and we've cut it to be 10 inches by three and seven eighths. So to create our DIY hinge, we are gonna be doing a lot of scoring on this paper. 
So you can see here, Annette's created a nice little template. So you can kind of see where those score lines are a little bit better than you can on this pattern paper. So let's score this beast. Our first score line is going to be at a half of an inch and then at three quarters of an inch, one and a quarter, one and three quarters, two inches, two and a half, three, three and a quarter, three and three quarters, four and a quarter, four and a half, five, five and a half, five and three quarters, six and a quarter, six and three quarters, seven, seven and a half, eight, eight and a quarter, eight and three quarters, nine and a quarter, and nine and a half. So now we are going to be folding and creasing on all of those score lines. This can be a bit of a tedious job, so be sure that when you are scoring, that you are scoring really well on those, which will make this a whole lot simpler. So um, we are going to be doing a pattern here where we're going to have a series of mountain folds and then valleys that are uh, flat across and mountains. So how it goes is we want a total of seven mountain folds. These folds, as you can see here, are a little bit larger than my valleys. So these are both a half inch here. And then my valleys are a quarter of an inch. So you can see in between my mountains, my valleys are a quarter of an inch. And it goes like this. And then on the edge, we do have a half of an inch that's going to adhere onto our front and back cover and a quarter of an inch in between our first and last uh, mountain. So that might sound a little confusing now, but I think once we add our adhesive, put it together, you'll totally understand what I'm talking about. So here is how we are adding our adhesive on the backhand side. So we are going to start with a strip of dry adhesive on our hair, um, half inch strips. Um, all the way to the left hand side and then there you can see there's a quarter inch which is our valley we're going to leave that unadhered and then we've got two half inch strips next to each other that will be our first mountain I've got adhesive there leave my quarter inch strips unadhered and then I've got my second mountain with adhesive there so I'm just going to follow that pattern making sure I'm not putting any adhesive on those quarter inch areas and I only need adhesive on one of the two half inch sections where our mountains go and then here we are at our last half inch area that is going to adhere onto our front and back of our covers so just go ahead and burnish those strips down and now we can start to form our mountains. So note, you want to leave your half inch strips on the left and right um, with the adhesive backing on. And we'll start to create our first mountain here. Since I've already done all of my scoring and I have folded already, this part should be simple to be creating. So you do want to make sure that you do pre-fold everything and you know when you're adding this adhesive that it's all in the right direction and you are good to go. So I've gotten to my last of my mountains. So 
this you can see let's go ahead and count them i should have seven so one two three four five six seven perfect and then i have my half inch still with my adhesive on there step four we are going to take out two of our regular craft tags and these tags are about uh, five and three quarters by three and seven eighths so now I'm going to, on my left hand side, I'm gonna make sure that my rounded grommet is face down and my rounded grommet on my right hand side is face up. Now I'm gonna take my little hinge that I've created and unstick one side at a time. And I can adhere this. So I want it to be flush with my tag bottom and with my right and left hand sides. So I kind of use my hands and fingers to guide my placement once I like my spot. And we can go ahead and burnish that down with a bone folder. So again, my grommet is face down on my left hand side and then on the right hand side, my grommet is up. And we'll do the same here. So I've adhered it down and you can see our DIY album is starting to come together. Step five from Joyful Tidings, we've cut out two pieces that are five inches by three and seven eighths and one that is three and a quarter by three and seven eighths. And just a side note, in this collection, unfortunately, there was a spelling error that we didn't um, it wasn't called to our attention um, until after we'd already printed everything out. So um, it does still exist where it just says Seasons Gratings. So uh, you can see it here on the So Very Merry page um, here and here. And then also it's on uh, this tag here and here. So all of this other real estate still perfectly beautiful and great to work with. And of course, you can always just use the B sides like we are doing um, in this tutorial already. Anyway, I did want to point that out to you and apologize about um, the oversight. Um, you know, we always want to put out the best products that we can and uh, we'll make sure, you know, to do um, better in the future. And we thank you so much for your patience. With the smaller of the three pieces, we are going to score on the three and a quarter side at a half of an inch and again at two and three quarters. Now with that piece we just scored, I've added adhesive on the uh, decorative side. So I have my green diamonds on the outside and I am going to adhere this to the outside of my cover and spine. So like so and then once i've got those adhered now i can take my bone folder again and just go in between where all these valleys are and burnish that down making sure you're getting a really good bond with your spine paper and your hinge system you want to hear those nice crackly noises so you know you're squeezing out any air pockets So at this point, you should look something like this. Now we're gonna take those two green rectangles and we're going to adhere those onto our front and back cover. You can use any adhesive you'd like for this. I'm using liquid because I like room to move and I'm using the art glitter glue. And then at this point, we are going to find our sweet spot. We want it to be flush from top and bottom of our tag and then right flush with the top of the flat sides of here. So once you have that right positioning, go ahead and bond it down. Now we're just gonna trim these corners to match the rounded tags. And of course, if you want that perfectly rounded edge, you can just do a little 
bit of sanding. Step eight, we are gonna flip this over to the inside. And then with So Very Merry, we're gonna cut out two pieces that are gonna be four and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. And then adhere these rectangles, just like we did on the outside, but to the inside. And once again, round your corners. Step nine, I'm gonna be using this book box temporarily. So I'm gonna put those tags to the side and I'm going to empty out my shades of blue flower assortments into my box. And of course I'm gonna keep this packaging so I can stick my leftovers in here after when I'm done with my projects. This way I can do a lot. I can search for the pieces I need a lot more easily without any frustration. So then for step nine, we are going to grab these five pieces. And then just while we're already in there sorting it out, for step 10, I'm gonna grab these pieces as well. Next, we are gonna grab this So Very Merry sticker and the three by four journaling card that looks like this. Cut that in half. And then adhere our elements onto our front cover, making sure it's got the rounded grommet. So I added my half of a journaling card to the back of my sticker. Now we can add some adhesive and adhere this down. I'm gonna put it in the center of my album cover, about a quarter of an inch from the bottom. Now we can adhere our greenery. Now just add some liquid adhesive to the back side of our greenery. And this first piece is just gonna go off to the bottom right with our smaller of the two, a little yellow floral centers. And I'm gonna just do the lighter side up. And these two pieces are just gonna go in the top left, making sure I'm not going over the edge of my cover and add my little flower center. So our front cover is complete. But of course, this is one of my favorite times to use our damp towel or paper towel and making sure you're getting a nice bond with your cover and you're uh, bringing up any sticky adhesive residue. Now I'm gonna use a corner chomper. You can omit this step or round your corners like I have. I'm just gonna round all four of them so they are matching like so. I've added adhesive on the back. I've just put mine in a U shape just, just to keep my options open, but feel free to do, do it how you'd like. And then it's about a half an inch from the bottom. And then here we're just gonna do some nice, simple stacking. So I've got my largest daisy piece on the bottom. I've got this sharp little floral in the center. I've got a smaller daisy piece with a more of a vibrant blue on top of that. And then I'm gonna take this nice little honeycomb flower center and put that on the top. Of course, then I'm going to get my damp towel and pick up any excess adhesive. For our next flower sandwich, we're gonna do our blue daisy piece on the bottom with the sharp yellow center and then a tiny little blue flower. With this piece, I'm just gonna trim off that bottom stem and adhere this down. So tip 
Pro tip, let's do the leaves after we do the flower. Since this flower is big and vibrant, we wanna make sure everything's closing just right. So you can see in here, it looks okay, but I'm just gonna move it over a little bit further just for safekeeping. Now that I have my flower down, it's gonna be easier to know where to put our greenery. Once again, making sure that everything is going to open and close beautifully. Locate this So Very Merry journaling card, and then add your adhesive in a U shape, and adhere this to the back center inside of our album. And then add another set of leaves. Step 14, we're gonna cut out four pieces of polar bear prints that are four and three eighths by three and five eighths. And then we're gonna take Christmas Dreams and we're gonna cut out three that are the same four and three eighths by three and five eighths. With the remaining seven tags, we are gonna cut off a fourth of an inch from the bottom. So trim all seven like this. And then adhere these onto your cutoff tags and then arrange them in this order so they're every other one starting with light blue and ending with light blue. Step 15, we're gonna cut out four pieces from Holiday Happiness that are four and one eighth by three and five eighths. And then we're gonna cut out three pieces from the B-side of Let It Snow that will also be four and one eighth by three and five eighths. And then arrange in this order. Now it's time to add our tag pages into our binding system. So I'm gonna work front to back and we are going to add some adhesive onto our first mountain here. So I'm adding my liquid adhesive, but I'm leaving more than an eighth of an inch from the bottom of my mountain. That way when I adhere down my tag, I can move it down so there's about a sixteenth of an inch gap between the score line and our tag page. That way it'll provide a really great, provide really great movement. So once you have it in place how you like it, then go ahead and just take your fingers and squeeze it onto our first of our hinges. So while that's drying, I'm just going to hold it down. Now that we're pretty dry, I'm going to take my bone folder and just reinforce that along with, while I'm reinforcing that, I'm also reinforcing the movement of my first page. So just going back and forth, making sure it's moving seamlessly. And then we'll move on to our second one. I've added adhesive to my second mountain. I've got my dark navy tag. So we're going every other one. We're doing a light blue, a dark blue. Finding that sweet placement and then pulling this up to reveal about an eighth of an inch again. Also, I wanna make sure that these tags are matching each other's placement, so. Once you find where you like it, go ahead and pinch between your fingers again. And repeat steps, taking our bone folder, burnishing, both back and front. And then we'll continue every other one on all of these, all five that are left. Just finishing up this last one, making sure we've got good movement. And now you can see our nice album has all come together with that beautiful hinge binding system. Now it's time to decorate the pages. Starting with this first page, we are going to adhere down this little green sprig. 
And then from our sticker sheets, we're gonna take this Joy Circle sticker. And this is just gonna go in the bottom right. Pro tip, do it like a net, not like me, and push it all up to this placement. Now we're gonna start to work with this stack we cut earlier. So adding adhesive to the back. And on the back side of our page one, we will adhere this flush with the right hand side and even from top to bottom. Next, we're gonna take this South Scalloped So Very Merry sticker and we are going to put this flush with the top and bottom and it's about halfway onto our paper and onto our tag. Just whatever fits best onto what you're working with. We're gonna make a small to medium sized flour sandwich and that's gonna go right here on our page. Flip this page and then adhere our diamonds. Once again, we're gonna make some flower sandwiches. Adhere these down. We're gonna put one towards the top center. One towards the bottom right. And then grabbing this big, beautiful Santa circle. This is just gonna go a little bit overlapping on the left and overlapping a little bit onto both of our flower sandwiches. Grab two identical Let It Snow uh, four by three journaling cards and score just one of them a half of an inch from the top. Adhere the first one down journaling side up in the center of our page. And then with the one that we have scored, we've added adhesive just to that half inch score line. And this is gonna go right on top of our first one. This is gonna create a really cute, seamless journaling spot. Ah, so clever. Annette is always coming up with such great techniques, really showcasing how you can utilize our papers. Now with these two larger blue circle snowflakes, we're gonna create a little flip tab. So we're gonna put this halfway on the bottom, in the center on the front, and then flip that over and match. Match it on the back. Now we've created a cute little flip tab. Flip that page and then adhere down our next rectangle. Then grab this maroon diamond sticker and trim to fit. Then adhere this green sprig and a small blue butterfly. Next, we're gonna add this sticker label to our dark navy blue page. Then add your flower sandwich. Adhere your diamonds on the back side of that paper or on the back side of that page, rather. Now we're going to adhere this Let It Snow owl tag. And then taking these cute little navy blue snowflake small circles. One is gonna go over the center of our tag hole, and then we'll just stagger the others underneath. It's time to get a little fancy with some of these journaling cards. So we want to grab these, this one's a three or a four by three and a three by four. With this first one, we're gonna do a little bit of fussy cutting. So we are gonna cut straight on the blue diamond border, but around this a furry, adorable bunny. Awesome. 
I just love bunnies. We have wild bunnies in our neighborhood and whenever we see them, we always talk about, you know, it's a good day when you see a bunny. So I'm feeling like it's a good day when you're fussy cut out a bunny. So just going around this sweet little white bunny. I'm leaving a bit of a white edge. You can get in there if you want and really get fussy. So it's really up to you. And then just go along that blue border. So while I have it in my hands, I'm just going to adhere it now. So I'm making a pocket out of this cute little fussy cut. So I want my bunny to be all the way down so it's nice and stable, secure, it's not gonna tear. And then I put a U shape around the rest. So my bunny is just gonna go about an eighth of an inch from the bottom exposing about an eighth of an inch of that blue and in the center here. And then we're going to do some fancy footwork with this one. So I want to cut this down so it fits inside my little pocket. So I'm going to be cutting off the borders, including the blue diamond border. So the first thing, first cut I want to make is the one on the right hand side. My next cut at this point is going to be the top. So again, I do want to cut off that blue diamond border. So I didn't exactly go far enough on my first cut. So reverse. Okay. We've cut off the blue diamond on the right hand side at the top and just working our way around. So now what we have left is this cute little tis the season owl with a nice little journaling spot in the back. And now we can tuck that in to our little fussy cut pocket. And then adhere a butterfly down. Turn the page and adhere our next paper in the pile down. Add the long 12 inch scallop sticker border down and cut to fit. Take this poinsettia circle sticker and it's gonna go just off to the side and towards the top. Trim your polar bear border sticker to fit both the top and bottom. So we are going to create another flower sandwich. So in the instructions, Annette shows you how to trim down one of these yellow honeycomb looking flower centers. However, I had already used my larger one so I don't really need to trim it down. Um, you definitely can. I guess we'll just do it for the sake to show you. So if you wanna make something smaller, you wanna make this fit your situation, you can definitely always pull out your fussy cut scissors and just make it work. You know, that's what Annette's always showing us that we can cut up journaling cards and we can cut up stickers that we don't have to be stuck to the size that they come in, which is always a great reminder to think outside the box. Those are all just sandwiching on top of one another. And then we're gonna put our big flower down here. Voila. So now we are gonna take this diamond paper. Diamonds are forever. And we are going to adhere this on the back side. Now we are gonna do a little bit of a more intricate fussy cutting because of course, this wouldn't be a graphic 45 tutorial if we didn't have a little more fun with our fine tip scissors. So, I've grabbed this Merry and Bright 4x3 journaling card. You could really grab whatever one you want to use. Any of these images are going to look beautiful because that's the beauty of a Graphic 45 collection is that they all work together. All the images in a collection work together perfectly. So you can't really 
go wrong with whatever you decide. I can just go over some of the inspiration for this collection. This Let It Snow collection is, of course, a Christmas line that's got Father Christmas in it, but we also, for the last few years, have gotten so many requests to come out with a winter collection. So this is um, our answer to that. So it does kind of fulfill both purposes where you have some gorgeous winter imagery, these woodland animals, as well as some holiday festive fun. So I'd love to hear in the comments what you think. Like, was that what you were hoping for? Do you want a separate winter collection or we're always loving your feedback and love the ideas that you come up with for new collections. We always add them down to our request spreadsheet and then look them over um, whenever we have um, a new product meeting and we're coming up with new ideas. So we really appreciate, cut that off, really appreciate our G45ers and you know, all that you create with our products, all your ideas, all the pictures that you're sharing on social media. It's just such an incredible industry and such an incredible job to have. Getting to work with these gorgeous papers and even more gorgeous customers. Okay, so before we adhere anything down, I'm gonna take this diamond border sticker and it's just gonna go right along the edge. You gotta love those diamonds on diamonds. It just gives you that nice complete look. And then we're gonna take some liquid adhesive and really adhere it down this fussy cut bit. So you really wanna get in those nooks and crannies making sure that this is gonna stay down flat. And then it's just gonna go flush up against our green border and the bottom. And rather than pushing out those air bubbles like I was just doing, if you saw it was pulling up things, let's go ahead and just push down. So no spreading, just pushing down, making sure we're getting a great bond. So for the next page, if you love fussy cutting and you wanna keep going, you can fussy cut out two of these poinsettias from Poinsettia Parade. But I wanna show you what it looks like without it. So keeping it simple, especially for those people out there who may not love fussy cutting as much as some of the others. So I'm just gonna add my Merry and Bright sticker down gonna take my remainder of my blue diamond border and again cut to fit so what do you think to fussy cut or not to fussy cut I don't know I kind of think I'm leaning this way so you can have a better focal point for your photo now with our last cut rectangle we're going maroon side up on this this baby. Next, we're gonna take this four by six journaling card. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas and we are gonna trim out the left-hand side border. So I just flip that around and I just want that ivory, holly and ivy border. And what I should have done first is first trim off this blue strip and then go in. However, I didn't do it that way. So we're just gonna easy does it, trim it off this way. So I trimmed off my blue. Now I'm just gonna trim this to fit, but I don't want the top and bottom, so I can cut that off while we're here. Move this out of the way and then trim this to fit. I 
adhere your border down and then we are going to grab two of these bird square stickers and one will go towards the top and one towards the bottom and we don't want to leave our third little birdie behind so we are going to take that and add it to flush with the bottom of our cover and just over our leaves so now we're going to add some stickers to our spine and I'm going to use my frame. And of course, if you wanted to personalize this, this would be a great time to add, you know, maybe some ivory paper and then you could put in whatever, um, maybe Christmas 2021 or label it. You could even put a photo in here and leave out the So Very Merry Square. It's really up to you. You might want to think about that maybe before putting on the spine, how you want to personalize it. So I do want my spine to be a little bit rounded while I'm adhering this on, but I also want to see my front cover and see that I like my placement for everything. So I'm just kind of finessing it into place. And now that I know where I like it, I can round that spine and burnish it on. So at this point you can leave it blank and then add in your personal sentiment or you can add in the So A Very Merry sticker. So let's add in our So Very Merry. Adding some liquid adhesive again. Just kind of working it while it's drying. Now all there is left to it is to add a ribbon or twine closure. So just grab 16 inches of any coordinating ribbon and we are going to put one end from the inside of the album to the outside of the album. And then we'll do the same with the back cover. So inside of our back cover to the outside. So you can see I've got my ribbon and it's on the inside of my grommets. And now I can find my matching points. And my ribbon is on the outside of my cover. Find those matching centers, and then let's go ahead and tie this closed. Looking good. Now we're just going to clean up our ribbon ends, like so. Hold down our little stickers a little bit better while they're drying. And in the end, you should have a gorgeous album like this. So we cannot wait to see what you've created. Did you use the same papers? Did you use something else? Go ahead and share your albums with us on Instagram using that graphic 45 hashtag. And then if you're looking for the coordinating box tutorial, it's in the description below. So click on that so you can follow along with this fun decorative tutorial as well. And of course, if you're looking for more great tutorials like this one, we post uh, Club G45 and G45 Card Club tutorials every month, as well as uh, Graphic 45 Brand Ambassador tutorials where they show you process videos on how they create all their different projects. So go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit that notification bell, so you don't miss any of these great and fun tutorials. We thank you so much for joining us and as always, happy paper crafting.